While we've probably all seen a pendulum swinging back and forth or a fishing bob move up and down, how do we use physics to describe this motion? In AP Physics 1, one of the more complicated and specific types of motion in the curriculum is known as simple harmonic motion. In general, simple harmonic motion is a cyclical form of motion known as oscillations, produced by objects moving under the influence of a restoring force, or a force that tries to move an object back to an equilibrium point. While the derivation of many simple harmonic oscillators can get quite complicated and is something you'll do in AP Physics C if you take the class, there are a lot of similar, even identical formulas and properties that apply to all types of simple harmonic oscillators. Because of this, let's take a look at two common types of simple harmonic oscillators you'll come across in AP Physics 1 and how they function. The first type of simple harmonic oscillator is known as a simple pendulum, and usually consists of a string attached to an object that swings back and forth. In this case, the force of gravity on the object tries to tug the object back towards the center, which creates a simple harmonic motion. The first vital formula to know about is the period equation, which provides a relationship between the period of the swing, or the length of time it takes for the object to make one full swing back and forth, and other variables. Most notably, you should understand that the longer the string is, the longer the period is. In addition, though the derivation is not necessary to know for this class, it's imperative to understand that the mass of the object on pendulums has no effect on the period whatsoever. But we can also represent the motion of this pendulum using equations too. Actually, for the motion of this simple pendulum, the position, or in the pendulum's case, the angle the string makes with the vertical versus time, the velocity versus time, and the acceleration versus time equations of the object are shown here. While these may seem complicated at first, all of these equations show the cyclical motion or sinusoidal motion the object has as it swings back and forth repeatedly, with some coefficients like the angular displacement and the angular frequency tossed in the mix. Finally, this angle phi here acts to express the starting position of the pendulum, but will be zero in almost all the cases you'll come across in AP Physics 1, so don't worry about that. In addition, as explained in my position velocity and acceleration versus time graphs video, the velocity graph represents a slope of position, and the acceleration is a slope of velocity. The second common type of simple harmonic oscillations you'll see are those of a spring attached to a mass. In this case, the restoring force comes from the force provided by the spring stretching or compressing, which is given by Hooke's law. This law states that the spring applies on the object a force that is the product of the quality of the spring material called spring constant, K, times the object's displacement from the equilibrium position, in a direction that's always opposite to the displacement, hence its restoring quality. The period equation for this oscillator is nearly identical to that of a simple pendulum, except the new variable that affects the period is mass instead of length. Besides that, however, all the other aspects of this equation remain the same with the spring constant in the denominator replacing the gravity constant from before. In addition, the position, velocity, and acceleration graphs are extremely similar as well, with the only replacement being the value of the angular frequency variable omega. Like the pendulum, these equations describe the motion of the object swinging side to side on the spring, and have the exact same format as the pendulum equation. While many of these equations may seem complex, they will show up on your equation sheet during the exam. What's most important to understand is the cyclical concept of all simple harmonic oscillators, and which variables affect the period for different types of oscillators. The derivation and analysis will be saved for AP Physics C, so look forward to that in a future class or future video. With that, you can feel good that you just finished learning about the basic properties of simple harmonic motion.